Here is the answer for the day two bell work. Question A, what is the number of the principal energy level with the least energy? That's number one. Hopefully you would know that answer just based on your understanding of principal energy levels, but you can get that answer from looking at the off by diagram in the book. Here's a picture of the off by diagram similar to the one in the book. Starting at the bottom of the diagram, you see that the first energy level is number one. Question B, how many sublevels are in principal level number four? And what are the names of those levels? Principal level number four would have four sublevels. Because of the principle that the number of sublevels is equal to the number of the principal level. Principal level one has only one sublevel. Principal level two has two sublevels. Principal level three has three sublevels. The name of each sublevel uses the number of the principal level plus a letter of the alphabet. The first sublevel is 4s, then 4p, then 4d, and then 4f. Again, hopefully you would just know that based on your understanding, but you can get that answer from the off bar diagram. Find all of the sublevels in this diagram that have a 4 in their name. So you would see 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4F, four sublevels. Question C, what is the maximum number of electrons that fit in principal level three? And how many of those electrons are in each of the sublevels in level three? You really need to think about that second question first in order to get the total number of electrons. So in sublevel 3S, there are two electrons. In sublevel 3P, there are six electrons. And in sublevel 3D, there can be 10 electrons. Adding that up, that means the maximum number in level 3 is 18 electrons. The understandings that you need to answer that question are that any sublevel with S in the name can have a max of 2 electrons. Any sublevel with P in the name has a max of 6 electrons. And a sublevel with D in the name has a max of 10 electrons. You can get that answer from the off bar diagram. This diagram locates the order that the sublevels fill with electrons. You start from the bottom and work your way up. But the diagram also gives boxes that indicate the orbitals that are in each sublevel. We know from the Pauli exclusion principle that any atomic orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. So to find the maximum number of electrons in principle level three, find all of the sublevels that have a three in the name. And consider that each of the little boxes can hold two electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 electrons would fit in principle level 3.